All right. Uh, not entirely sure what I just watched. <clears throat> um, and by just watched, I mean the F Zappa 20 Game of Thrones recap. Not the actual Game of Thrones episode. I didn't watch the Game of Thrones episode because I never have and never will. And <clears throat> I'm kind of confused and bewildered by the whole pop cultural phenomenon that is Game of Thrones. Including, but not limited to F Zappa 20's recap, reaction, review. Which, by the way, take a little offense at him uh, titling his own videos, recap, reviews. My job. It's my ballpark. A um, little bit miffed by that, you know, to be honest. But besides that, a, a very confusing six and a half minutes for me as a non Game of Thrones uh, fan. Um, pretty much, I, you know, and, and the thing I love about FZ is the insight and the opinions and the commentary. And, you know, I, I, I've criticized some of the fish recaps for just being by the numbers running down the set list. And Lord, is that not what he's doing with these Game of Thrones recaps? I mean, uh, and, and the names, these, these characters, these people, it sounds like some sort of, uh, like children's game. Like one of those uh, like uh, Dungeons and Dragons games, and it's just this whole separate language. I guess it's I guess there's different FZ fans. There's some who are strictly Game of Thrones fans who probably feel that way about fish reviews. When what is all this lingo and this chomper talk and this this wook and this character zeroing and this uh, Fago? Who's this Who's this Fago person that keeps popping up? So I'm sure that these Game of Thrones fans are on the same end of the spectrum as far as being confused and kind of maybe put off by some of the, the fish recaps, as I am by the Game of Thrones recaps. Uh, Joshua steps into Balthazar's lair and they concoct a plan to go kill Phoenicius. And Phoenicius decides to go and call his sister Berenina, and Berenina calls up Balthazar, the the magic dragon. <laughs> this is an actual show. These are actual characters. This is an actual recap. Uh, I mean, that, that's what it was for me. <laughs> just these these nonsensical characters just run down <laughs> right after the other. Some sort of. I mean, the the plot. Is there any plot going on besides people talking? Trying to kill one another. Uh, Excrecius gets uh, a sword from Xerox. Ooh. You know, I, I mean, I... <laughs> oh, this show. I don't know. I mean, the, the comment section seemed to light up with people who were like, hey, I've sat through all these fish uh, reviews. Finally, we get a, a GOT. I, I started seeing the GOT post. I didn't even know what he was talking about. But yeah, the, the big GOT recaps are back. Uh, Scraninia, Scraninia went to Star Stardia and, uh, and got, got a, a special, uh, the Dire Wolf. I know all about the Dire Wolf and Weir Forest, but, uh, ultimately, uh, kind of lost with the recap review, but, uh, excited to have an FZ20 recap review at any point and, uh, we'll see what happens next. Always ending it with a boom. Uh, he ended it with a boom. I'm about to end it with a boom and, uh, we'll go with that. All right. Also disappointed, the uh, the thumbnail showed what appeared to be an FZ20 shirt. I thought it was an actual, like, philosopher shirt or some, something like that. But uh, apparently it was just a, um, a, uh, a little digital effect. All right. We'll end it on there. Boom. I mean, ser seriously, what kind of show is this? A an entire population of people love this. Ixka Miska goes to Bethia. Does that make any sense to you? Daddy. All right. Boom.